on my flow or if you like it, come and bump it till your dubs fry. Follow Mad Matt and Odd Sauce. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Throughout history, past, present, standing up for black men that they don't know. But they somebody's uncle, somebody's father, somebody's brother, somebody's cousin, somebody's son. These black women are standing in the thick of things, fighting for black men that they don't know, regardless of their past. You said. And I will say this over and over again. Once you are uh, beyond seven years old, you should be scrubbing your skin with a brush. No more washcloths for a child, adolescent, and an adult body. You have to scrub it because that moves the lymphatic system. It also stimulates arterial uh, movement. It, uh, it stimulates drainage of the veins and the fat. So all of that now is basically cleansed when you scrub with a brush. So a lot of people see all these molds on the skin that they have they're called seborrhea keratosis. It comes from not adequately deep breathing the skin using a brush or a very rough surface. So all the, the dead cells pile up, the fat and sweat can't be released and it looks like a mold. But that comes from really not thorough cleansing. That will also increase high blood pressure because so many of the arterioles, venials in the skin circulatory system have become clogged. Interesting. Most definitely, this is one of the most beautiful lakes in the world. But the thing is, there are unlimited amount of signs that warn people to swim at their own risk because this shit is too dangerous for lifeguards this year this lake really showed people that it wasn't bullshit so far eight people have died and certain parts of this lake is infested with leeches and it also has crocodiles this is lake lanier and it is roughly 38,000 acres and it is also one of the most polluted lakes in the U.S. But in 1912, this lake was actually a black community and it was originally called Oscarville with a total of 1,100 residents. They had successful farmers, carpenters, and bricklayers. Yes, they were really bringing in that motherfucking bag until one day, a white mob by the name of the Night Riders invaded the town, forcing them out, making the town all white. Ain't no motherfucking way that you robbed me with this bullshit on. This is insane. Motherfuckers look like Harry and Lloyd. Lots of people died that night. They completely destroyed Oscarville, the crops and businesses and all. And in the 1950s, the U.S. Army built the Buford Dam for flooding purposes and flooded the whole damn town. And whenever it's a drop, you can see trees, cars, stop signs, and houses. This fucking lake is haunted as fuck. And that night, many people have claimed to seeing ghosts around that bitch. And there have been stories about brand new boats sinking in this lake. These motherfuckers stupid. They still coming to this place. And these ghosts are not bullshit. They fucking up every race. They might as well go ahead and put up a sign saying, who's next? Since 1956, this shit killed over 700 people. This knowledge has nothing to do with you to go back to teach your family members and then they beat you over the head and you don't understand why they don't get it. It's not for them to get. It's not for them to get. Number two, this information is for your illumination and why you need to go teach somebody anyway when you still learning? See guys, there it is. That is the screw my dad put behind the tree to force it to turn into a female. It was once a male, this papaya tree, but now it's a female. And there you go. That's my pops. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> yep. That's the second tree. Third tree. Fourth tree. That's humongous. This thing has a lot in it. Side note. Look at these. Look at this. And fifth tree. Another one he turned into a female. Those are chemtrails. Um, I know where I want to be when I grow up, an astronaut. I didn't know you wanted to become an actor. Oh, okay. I want this book about gravity. Bro, gravity's not real. Mom, mom, mom. Can I get the Earth science book about um, Earth and science for school? Only if it tells you the truth about it being flat. Artificial frequencies. Did you know living next to an airport or the train tracks automatically take 10 years from your life? Did you see the statistics on the actual cancer, prostate cancer, breast cancer, and throat cancer, living by these things? You need to be in more rural-like areas. We need to be in nature because we are a reflection and a people of nature. Do y'all realize there is actually a, a psychotic label that people go through and they get depressed and they did a study on it and it was because they wasn't in nature. They realized like, dang, this, this person ain't sick. This person don't have the big disease. This person ain't been by no trees and been by no water and been by no grass. Do you realize it's a different frequency when your eyes look at water and your eyes interpret trees and chlorophyll? It does something to the electrical magnetic spectrum of your body and it heals and it purges the cells of all toxemia, meaning that it's essential that we get sunlight and that we get nature, we get natural water and that we get wind and breath. You are made to be outside. Who started creating all these things? Homes and building them with concrete. Then you go into ancient uh, America, you start studying ancient Africans and they built their houses with dirt, with mud, because they needed to, to stay connected to the earth. But what we do, uh, we get into the concept of steel. We get into the concept of concrete, blocking out the sun. Do you realize that the sun cannot penetrate concrete? But you in concrete buildings all day. Chasing the bag, not living your life, because you're stuck in a sensory deprivation tank. So, we got so my memory wasn't there. So I started doing things that would enhance me to be on the journey that I am on now, that will help me function at a high level, right? Uh, uh, you know, as I've been healing myself on a spiritual level, right? And addressing things as they come up has been a big thing. So as I, if there's something not right, I'm communicating that. I'm not, I think when I was younger, I was more passive aggressive, right? So even that had an effect in my health lifestyle, right? Because you become passive aggressive in the way you do everything. So no, and whether it's in a relationship, if I don't like something, I'm communicating it now, right? I'm going to deal with the hard emotions now. It'd be conversations I don't want to have. I got to have them now because... Otherwise, that that comes up in a different kind of way where, you know, I practice escapism. I don't want to be like that. So if, if I see myself watching too much TV and like, all right, what am I escaping right now? What is it I'm supposed to be doing that I don't want to do? So I'm distracting myself with this false enjoyment, right? Because I don't want to deal with the actual emotion of work. So for me, it's facing the real life as well. And I'm also trying to stop judging other people's food as much. I still be judging the food for show. Sure. You know what I'm talking about for sure, <laughs> but not as much, you know what I'm saying? If you around me eating McDonald's, I might smash the bag and just throw it. I'm going to be a 100,000 with you, you know what I'm saying? You smoking a cigarette, I might slap you in your mouth and let the Marlboro man fall off. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it a buck with you. That's just me. Don't be around me if you don't want me to stop toxicity in my environment because I can't allow you to come and mess up my tourist field. You know what I'm saying? I know my energy and my atmosphere. So... Wow. This must be some kind of flesh-eating fish. I'm just wondering what kind of meat they are eating. Oh, 
Listen, Captain, chicken. Listen, chicken. The, the powder. The powder in the chicken. Look, when I was in the trap house, there was some white powder right there. I thought it was cocaine. I took some of it. It wasn't cocaine. I started laughing. You break some, I shoot a nigga. Now we here. We eat this chicken. We all laughing. It's in the fucking chicken. Black people got an emotional attachment to this Chick fil A spot. So when I said sick filet, well, I had to get extra security. I'm t so I was sitting one day drinking some coffee and I was looking at the line in, at Chick-fil-A. Three lines starting at 10.30 in the morning and I stayed there for an hour. It never let up. I said, ain't no way in hell that a chicken sandwich tastes that good. So I said, let me see. Uh, I wonder what they're putting in it. And I started doing the research right at the time that you remember, you know, in the hood there was this argument, Popeyes versus Chick-fil-A, and everybody was going back and forth. And people, you seen people at Popeyes, man, got shot. The man shot somebody because they didn't have no more chicken sandwiches left. I mean, I said, I said, this ain't no regular chicken sandwiches. So I went and looked up Popeye's chicken sandwich. Come to find out they have 40, over 40 ingredients in the Popeye's chicken sandwich. 32 of them were man-made chemicals. And I said, well, let's see what Chick-fil-A has. Over 50 chemicals in the chicken sandwich, over 40 of them were man-made chemicals. I said, so hell, this is a dope sandwich. So they, hell, they really are flipping birds over there. <laughs> I mean, because there's no way in the world to justify. So whenever I seen that, um, I said it in a message. And someone took the clip of it and then went on the website of Chick-fil-A, had it broke down where they were clicking on it, showing all of the ingredients and these chemicals that were in it. Do you know the next day Chick-fil-A took that down off their website? So now you can't find the ingredients to the Chick-fil-A sandwich or the Popeye's uh, chicken sandwich because they don't want you to know that they're drugging you, that they're, they're doping you, that, that they, are, they have you wanting the food not for nutrition or value, but because you've become addicted by the MSG and the other chemicals that they've inserted in that also are immune system disruptors. They ill affect your brain, mess with your arteries, and, and any foreign substance automatically activates the immune system, which means our bodies, when we eat this kind of food, they are fighting an unnecessary battle. So when the real battles of disease show up, the, the systems are too worn out by fighting these small battles every day from bad eating that they can't handle a virus when it shows up. Painkillers, blood thinners, and chemotherapy drugs are just some of the substances that are found in your drinking water. There's new information that some drugs are ending up in our water at levels never seen before. Most people don't think about where their water comes from. They just turn on the tap and they expect it to be there. It's a public health crisis of massive proportions. Toxic cocktail of chemicals in our tap water could lead to cancer. PFAs, which are chemicals used in consumer products like firefighting foam and non-stick cookware, can be found in 610 locations across the country, and that includes drinking water for about 19 million people. These chemicals could result in over 100,000 cancer cases over a lifetime, which is about 70 years. Thousands of people in Parkersburg and along the entire Ohio River were contaminated. They come and tested our water and they said, we'll send you a report in a couple of weeks or whatever. And they called us in a few days and they said, do not drink your water, don't use it for cooking, nothing. How high were your levels when they told you about your water? They're supposed to be under 40 parts per trillion. Ours is 26,000. 26,000. A lot of chemicals, when they go into your body or when they end up in the environment, they break down, they slowly decompose. PFAS don't do that. Once you put PFAS somewhere, it's going to stay there practically forever. They are nearly indestructible. So if you're drinking tap water, you might want to think twice because it's pretty toxic. 
on the surface, tap water sounds like this great thing. The government is giving us peasants cheap, practically free drinking water? <laughs> How kind of them, right? But in reality, your tap water is slowly killing you. See, every time you drink a glass of American tap water, every time you take a shower, wash your hands, or rinse your mouth, you are ingesting a giant cocktail of highly toxic chemicals. To such as PFAS, also known as forever chemicals that stay in your body forever. They are found in every one of you. Are linked to higher rates of cancer and birth defects. I've got great news for you, and it's right under this macaroni and cheese. Now, glass oven comes with a Teflon finish. So now glass... Painkillers, blood thinners, and chemotherapy drugs are just some of the substances that are found in your drinking water. There's new information that some drugs are ending up in our water at levels never seen before. Most people don't think about where their water comes from. They just turn on the tap and they expect it to be there. It's a public health crisis of massive proportions. Toxic cocktail of chemicals in our tap water could lead to cancer. PFAs, which are chemicals used in consumer products like firefighting foam and non-stick cookware, can be found in 610 locations across the country, and that includes drinking water for about... I realize what I'm going to show you right now is going to appear to be gibberish to you. But let me decode it for you. What I'm seeing here is that every compass is pointing to the Holy Grail where you get eternal life. And eventually you're going to get sick of hearing me tell you this in videos and you're going to start making videos yourself. And the reason I can see all this stuff is clear is because the sun is conscious, the internet is conscious, the air that you breathe is conscious, the earth under your feet is conscious, the water is conscious, the trees out there are conscious, and I might as well be talking to a fucking wall uh, because everyone is so far from truth it seems impossible that some of you would think it was wrong to go out by a big old tree and place your bare feet, your bare soles on dry soil at high noon and drop a drop of your blood into the earth and ask the great spirit for guidance and do it again at midnight bare feet on soles by an old tree and you drop your blood into the earth and you ask the great spirit for guidance uh, you think that's satanic it's mother earth for a reason it's a divine female spirit that permeates the universe and uh, you are confused you're missing half of your brain you can't see what's hiding in plain sight uh, most of you are literally retarded uh, you get angry at me I'm pointing out the uh, the holy grail the fountain of youth that every single compass is pointing to everlasting life in your way out of the matrix and uh you think i'm crazy for telling you that but i assure you you're fucking retarded and if i have to scream this out for 10 years five years two years whatever it takes i'm gonna get everybody their eternal life because i got a pair of balls okay as big as saturn and uh just the word Saturn, you go into like a freak mode. You're inside of Saturn right now. You see that ring you're inside of? That ring is an ice wall because this place is super conductive. You're in a computer simulation right now. And there's a way out. It's right there at the center of the dish. The vagina hole where you're going to drink from the living waters. And you see the Chinese compass that I pointed out in the previous video. It's pointing... It's got a spoon showing you, look it up, the spoon is showing you to drink from the living waters. It, it, that the original compass points south, not north. But you think I'm crazy for telling you that. But I assure you, you're a fucking retard and you know nothing of truth. And you don't have to like it when I tell you that. I hold the fucking spear of destiny, and it's true. If I don't make videos pointing out the obvious, you're, you're as good as dead. You're gonna just waste away and get old. Hell fuck no, I'm gonna bring forth heaven on earth, okay? And you don't have to like it. But heaven's coming to earth. I hold the fucking spear of destiny. And uh, I'm going to scream it out from the top of my lungs where everybody's going to get everlasting life. But, and I'm telling you, it's going to take 2.7 more years and I'll wake up enough people to get us all eternal life. It's just that simple. I can see the future because I wrote it myself with my own blood and I published it to the ethernet. 
for the entire universe to see. And it turns out you live in the fucking matrix for real. All day now, people, all morning, back and forth, up and down the coast here in South Carolina, running a few 3D errands, and these are nonstop. I've gotten a couple videos, but this is the best one I've gotten so far. Um, they're going up and down the coastline. I believe this is Osprey. Uh, yeah, God bless. What do you think I'm trying to point to? These had your whole life a lot. Nigga, we ain't have no rivers and all that shit, nigga. We had seas. Every place you see a lake and shit. That, all that shit, man, man. Even the five great lakes, boy. Them was, they put, you know how many bodies they put in Lake Michigan? Them was all the, the, the whole Illinois Confederacy, boy. Dead bodies make up the five great lakes. Come on, man. You don't know how deep this shit run, nigga. Come on, man. All these oceans, man. Who you think at the bottom of them oceans, man? They ain't gonna tell you that. They'll never tell you that. They'll never tell you that. I'm using this one example. Now, people in Georgia knew that. But that still should amaze the fuck out of you. Like, Joe, look at it. Look how they did it. You would never know. Look at it. It's all beautiful and shit. You're like, oh, that's beautiful. So, if this is beautiful... How many more tourist attractions they showing you that's really not tourist attractions? I ain't telling you to do nothing. But use some insight right now. Look at how beautiful the backdrop is. Now, how many more places you go on this planet with beautiful lakes and meadows and mountain views? If you only knew they took the land from us, man. And how they took it from us, man. They ain't just do that down no Oscarville, Georgia, nigga. Everywhere, nigga. Every city, every state, every great lake, nigga. Oceans, nigga. Pfft, that's why it's in game now. Come oh, on, man. We on to the next real quick, man. Real quick, man. Then they want to tell you shit like this. You know, they, they run across this shit all day, y'all. So we claim that free business profile on Google. Yeah, now we can accept bookings. Hold on, they do this a lot, y'all. So check this story out. Radar finds more than 120 graves buried beneath Tampa apartments. I'm just clicking on this shit. They not surprised, nigga. This shit is, they, this is every apartment, nigga. When I say we everywhere, we everywhere. Oh, I say friends all the time. Listen to this. Look at this, apartment complex in Tampa. Look at that. Not just in the areas that we've scanned, but we believe that is the case under the actual buildings itself. The, the Tampa, let's read it. The Tampa Housing Authority directed private archaeologists to investigate whether the graves remain on this land. Look how that neighborhood look. Hold on, y'all. Look how the neighborhood look. You would never think this was nothing but graveyards and bodies that they built over. The results on this map. GPR testing returned the reflections of buried rectangular objects that are the all these graves. Boy, it's more than that. But you would never think that. This is an apartment complex in Tampa. And they still light saucing you. They're still light saucing you. They still light saucing it. Well, man, I made this live for a reason. This shit should, should get your soul ready for this end game where we going with this revolution right now, nigga. Come on, man. That's just them showing that apartment. Boy, the apartment complex you live in is all buried over, built over bodies. It was, it was trillions of us. Boy, we went to war with their ass. Boy, a lot of us lost our avatar, man. Our ancestors died fighting their ass. That's why they hide the grave sites. Do you get it now? To make sure you never fight against their ass again. That's, that's know what was coming. Check this out. Operation Blue Roof and the FEMA self-help program, while similar, use two different materials. 
Both programs help reduce further rain damage to homes and provide temporary protection for the roofs of residential structures damaged during severe weather. The sheeting for Operation Blue Roof are installed by a contractor overseen by the Corps of Engineers according to certain specifications. The material is a rolled polyurethane sheeting with fiber reinforcement. It's 10 millimeters thick and measures 20 feet by 100 feet. It's used for major impacts to roofs. The sheeting is 100% waterproof. It is also tear resistant, UV resistant, and fire retardant. The FEMA self-help tarps are installed by the homeowner. The material is thinner and not as resilient as the plastic sheeting. It typically measures 20 feet by 25 feet with grommets to allow for a tie-down solution. These blue tarps are used for minor roof repairs and are more of a patch solution. To sign up for the program, you can call 888-ROOF-BLUE. You can go to blueroof.us or you can go to one of our many sign-up locations. Demonstrating that these popular children's cereal also has an ingredient that is the main ingredient in degreasing paint, tri-sodium phosphate. So we want to know how many people know that this toxic chemical is in all their children's favorite cereal. Are any of these your favorite cereal? Yeah. Yeah. Which one? Yeah, Reese's uh, Puffs. Hmm, that's a really hard choice because actually they're like my three top. Tricks, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast. You know what these cereals have in common? Whole grain. Sugar. Bunch of sugar. All whole grain. Whole grain. They're all really good. Fat content. <laughs> High fructose corn syrup. Ah, he's so smart. <laughs> all right. Do you know what TSP is? No, I don't. Trisodium phosphate. Uh oh. It's very not good for you. Not good it's for you. you use it for cleaning. Would you eat that? No. I don't know what it is. It's degreaser. It's paint remover. It's a lubricant. <laughs> but it's also found in all three of these cereal. Um, it's an ingredient. Would you still eat it if I gave it to you like that? No. <laughs> no. I know what that is. What is Tri it? Trisodium phosphate. What does it do? It cleans your walls very, very well prior to painting. Yeah. Do you know that's in your cereal? It's already an ingredient? Serious? Yep. In all three of these. Trisodium phosphate, right there. Right there, wow. Wow. I was actually quite surprised that there's TSP in the cereal. Would you still eat this cereal right now if I put that on top? <laughs> no. <laughs>